Hey guys, okay, so I am editing the video you guys are about to watch and I did have some um, footage of me talking to you guys about like where I went shopping and things like that and kind of an opening and a closing, but, but um, I've lost the images seem to be damaged somehow and I don't remember which uh, video camera or phone or anything that I recorded it on. I don't know where the SD card is or anything. And honestly, I just really need to get this video up because it's been over a week since I've done so. So I've been having a lot of computer problems, which has kind of forced me to drop out of Vlogmas, but I'm still going to be uploading as much as I can. But I am just being hit back to back to back with different problems. And I just, yeah, it worked against me this time around. So Sorry about that, y'all just gonna have to get the videos that I give you because I have no control over some of the things that have been happening over the last couple of weeks as far as my electronics go. I just wanted to give you guys a quick intro and an outro about this video. This is me. This is the first time I went shopping for my med diet stuff. And I just wanted to show you guys my grocery haul and let you know what I was eating and things like that. And then coming up next, I'm going to have a video showing you guys what I eat in a week. I was going to add it to this video, but the footage ended up being so long that I just wanted to kind of break it up so you guys wouldn't have to sit through videos that are 30 and 40 minutes. So, so we're just going to hop right into it. This is my Mediterranean diet shopping food haul. Okay, so this is um, the bucket. <laughs> I have all of my food in that I just bought from the grocery store and this is not all of it but I just want to show you a little bit of what it is that I am going to be eating and prepping for the next week or really for the next couple of weeks okay, so I thought it would be better if we did this in kind of steps so this is the flour that I am going to be working with while I am um, leaning into the Mediterranean diet so here we have King Arthur whole white I'm sorry, white whole wheat flour. And then I'm also going to be using the King Arthur keto wheat flour. And these are going to be my two primary flours that I'm going to be using while on this diet. Um, I always make it a point to use some sort of keto flour. Like I really do like, um, what is it called? Carb Quick. I use that a lot. Um, I should just go get that. Let me grab the Carb Quick. So I like I said, I have the keto wheat flour. I have the white whole wheat flour. This is 100% whole wheat flour, but it's like white. And well, it's not like white. It is white and it just, I think it cooks up and bakes up a lot better than regular whole wheat flour. It's just more enjoyable to work with. So I like this. And then this is my low carb pancake mix that I mix with regular pancake mix. This is from Lucanto. This is Carb Quick. This is something that I have been using this for years and um, I just really like this product a lot. And I mix this also with regular flour. And then again, here's another pancake mix that I have and this is from New Hope. And yeah, I, I love all of this, you guys. Um, I don't just eat low carb flour on its own. I typically do kind of mix it with regular wheat flour, but because it's just, it's not great on its own. Unless you are doing like a really low carb diet, there's no need to only have to depend on low carb flours. So yeah, so I am not on a low carb diet. I just like watching the amount of carbs that I consume and that's regular. That's not even when I'm actively trying to lose weight or anything. So yeah, so these are the flowers that you're gonna be seeing me using throughout the weeks, the upcoming weeks. Okay, so here's next up of some other things that I am going to be cooking with that I just bought from the grocery store. Um, I did buy a bag of almond flour just for certain recipes. I don't particularly like almond flour. I am totally unwilling to invest in like a huge bag of it. I just, there are just so many things I just like about almond flour. I did want to have a little bag on hand until I'm able to source something more um, environmentally friendly like cashew flour. And then of course, beans are absolutely a staple on this diet and I got me some great 
northern beans right here and then I got me some pinto beans and I have a couple of packages of these each um, I do have some low carb whole wheat tortillas and I just really got it for the whole wheat part not necessarily I'm worried about carbs with tortillas but it's a nice bonus I guess and that has that's the calorie information right there 90 calories, six net carbs, 13 grams of fiber, and eight grams of protein. Those are what's most important for me. I did get a couple of cans of pumpkin puree, not pumpkin pie. This is just plain pumpkin. And I like to make desserts and muffins and things like that with this. Okay, so I did get some brown rice some instant brown rice that's ready this is for quick meals this is not something that i plan to eat regularly but for times when i'm i'm needing to eat in maybe 15 or 20 minutes i figure something like this would be good and i also got a couple of packages of rice like this where you can just pop it in the microwave and it's ready to go um it's very hard to cook for yourself so I like to make things as easy as possible, even if I'm taking shortcuts, but I do have regular rice already in the pantry. This is just the quick stuff for easy, quick um, weeknight meals. I also got me heyo, some seasoned red beans. I love this stuff. I cannot wait to make this. And I got some tomato paste. And I like this because I don't have to open up a can. You can just squeeze it out and then pop it in the refrigerator and can use it anytime you want. Less mess, I just really like this brand. Okay, so let's talk about vegetables really quickly. So here I have some whole kernel sweet corn, 50% less sodium. This is stuff that I am definitely going to be incorporating in my diet from here on out. You guys, we are in a pandemic i'm not going to be going to the grocery store every couple of days to get fresh fruits and vegetables i'm just not going to do it so i do have fresh fruits like here's some grapes right here i have some watermelon in the refrigerator apples and i have some pears and sweet potatoes and i have some tangerines down there and then i have a little bit more I have some potatoes, I have some apples. And over here, let me move this, I even have some squashes. I actually eat with these squashes. I actually make pies and use that. That's red curry squash. Here, let me grab it. I actually use this particular squash. This is red curry. This is an excellent substitute for sweet potatoes. So I do use this a lot. I buy like four at a time and keep them and they keep for a very long time. So I try to eat like one of these once a week during the winter months. And also I love to eat acorn squash. So yeah, during also during the winter months. So this really keeps for a long, long time. And that is my goal here is to not have to go to the grocery store all the time but to still eat relatively healthy and squashes are an excellent way to get in your vegetables or either typically fruits they're actually fruits but we're just going to call them vegetables it's a good way to get those in without having to rely on canned goods all of the time so yeah i have my vegetables i do have like string beans and things like that and then i have unlimited like i have so many bags of broccoli in the freezer like let me show you okay while i'm here i'm just gonna show you my freezer all of these bags right here these are all bags of broccoli i just have them stuffed in here because i i don't have any i don't this is a very small freezer so yeah i have broccoli in here i have veggie spirals as you can see i got this from trader joe's i even have like uh, frozen onions and peppers and i just have all kinds of things in here there's some more veggie um spirals i think that's butternut squash i have cauliflower in here right there that's my shrimp so and in that right there that is ground turkey so i do have a lot of 
vegetables that I am stashing in the refrigerator. So yeah, it's gonna be frozen or it's going to be canned. Really quickly, I also wanted to show you the kind of pasta that I'm going to be eating on here. Pasta is pasta, beans, rice. Those are things that you can all really kind of lean into on the Mediterranean diet. So I am gonna be using um, lower carb, lower calorie, pasta i personally don't see a difference so if i don't see a difference then why not just use this kind of stuff so yeah i'm going to be using light pasta and this is um, a low carb pasta that i like now i can tell a difference between this and regular pasta not so much with this one i can't tell the difference with this one i can but it's acceptable to me to replace this with regular pasta i know a lot of people might not like this very much and there is definitely a process to cooking this to make it taste really good but i like it i don't i don't think that it tastes much much different than regular pasta once you have sauces and things on it. And this, I don't think this tastes different at all. This tastes just like regular pasta to me. Okay, so what else do I have in my little, so I have these really cute little apples. They're baby apples, they're called, you see I've already started eating them. Um, rocket apples or something, I don't know. <laughs> and then I have my, here, so let me take this out. Okay, you guys, so I love snacking. I think that the bulk of my diet comes from snacking, which is not the best thing, but I'm just gonna roll with it. So I've decided that I'm going to be making um, a kind of nut mix with all of my favorite little snacky snack things. So here I have some cashews that I'm gonna put in it, and then I have some pumpkin seeds here. And then I have some turkey beef jerky right here that I'm gonna to add to that as well. I'm going to be adding some of these pretzels. Now these are grain-free pretzels. I am not a huge fan of grain-free anything, but I think that these are really good. I bought these by mistake when I was making a Chex Mix and they were so good. So I just got them again because I really, really liked them. I love mustard pretzels and these are honey mustard. And then I'm just gonna toss a couple of these in there as well. These are honey mustard and onion pretzel bites. I love these. I have, what is this? I have some figs that I'm gonna chop up and throw in there as well. And then I also have some, this is gonna be like the sweet part. This is milk chocolate cashews. So they're not the healthiest, but um, I do like a little bit of chocolate in my trail mix, so I'm going to toss a couple of those in there as well. And then I'm going to be adding a few dried cranberries, and as you can see, that is 50% less sugar, so a little bit more healthy than regular dried cranberries. And I use these on salads and things like that as well. I actually have a huge bag in my pantry already that I am almost finished with, so I bought these. And finally, I don't know why I got these. I have not had corn nuts in probably 20 years. Seriously, I have not had these since I was in school, in like probably elementary school, I don't know. But I just I just picked these up and I thought maybe I can just throw a couple of these in there for crunch. I will show you guys when I make these and the ratio and everything, but I don't know, I haven't had to, these used to be, these used to be my favorite corn nuts, chili picante. So I just wanted to see how it would work out. So I got these and I'm gonna add a couple of these in with the nuts and things like that. I also have some smoked almonds. I didn't feel like going to drag them out and I'm gonna add those to this as well. So this is gonna make up the bulk of my little trail mix. Now let's get into what kind of meat I am going to be eating and so um, oh, here's some olives. So I do have olives, a couple of cans of these that I'll put on salads and on top of pizzas and things like that. I have here some Rotel and I will be using this for things like chilies and those, but like stews and soups and chilies and things like that. I bought some canned pink salmon here and i'm going to be using this i will put this on top of salads i will be making salmon croquettes my mom's salmon croquettes are the best so i am going to be using this 
Again, I only go to the store once a month, so I definitely need shelf-stable things if I'm gonna be eating right every single day. And I got a couple of cans of those, of the pink salmon. And then I also got a couple of cans, a couple of cans of chicken breasts. And then so these are some other things that I bought. So I ordered this online. This is my absolute favorite bread in the whole wide world. This is 647 bread by Schmidt Old Time. It has the um, label over it, so you can't really see it, but oh my God, this is the best bread ever. It has six net carbs, 40 calories a slice, and seven grams of fiber, and it tastes like just regular, regular bread. I absolutely love this. Um, when I lived in Maryland, I was able to go right into the grocery stores and buy these, but they do not sell these on the West Coast, so I had to order them online. I will leave a link below, but if you are on any diet or you just wanna eat healthier like me, this is absolutely the best, the best bread you are gonna find, and it's totally worth the money. I also got their English muffins. I wasn't able to find their hamburger buns, but I did get their English muffins, which I also love. Cereal several times a week. So this is the kind of cereal I eat. I like K's protein cereal, French vanilla. This is really good. I eat these and I have been getting I've been getting a cereal subscription from this company for about a year. This is Magic Spoon Cereal, uh, zero grams of sugar, three net carbs, and 11 grams of protein per servings. If you like cereal that you used to eat when you were a kid, this is what you need. This stuff right here, this flavor is fruity and it tastes exactly like Fruit Loops. No lie, I am not kidding you guys. The texture is a little, little off, but not enough for me to, I've been eating this for a year and I do eat regular cereal still. So I can tell you that this does not taste like a low carb cereal. It does not taste like a diet cereal. It tastes like regular cereal. I love this stuff. I have it in salted caramel. I also have it in apple cinnamon. Again, this is a limited edition flavor. And I have it in peanut butter, which is one of the flavors that I get regularly. Okay, so I just wanna talk to you guys a little bit about the sweeteners that I'm gonna be using, that I'm going to continue to use. I've always used these sweeteners. I will never stop using these sweeteners. So uh, this is um, this is actually a trail mix, but I'm gonna give this to my mother because she loves these. This is um, Sola trail mix, and it's just made with a bunch of like different type of nuts and things like that. But I'm giving this to my mom because she loves it, so. Um, Oh, there's some more keto pancake mix. I think that I got this in my nutrition package, so I just threw it up here. Okay, so here are the sweeteners that I use. I use Waylo, and I use that the white granular. If you need any information about the kind of sweeteners that I use, I will leave a link to the videos below. Um, I have been using Waylo for about five years now, and this is one of the holdovers from my dieting days that I will not give up on because it's really good. And I use Waylo brown sugar as well. And this stuff is basically, it tastes exactly like regular sugar. It is made from regular sugar, but it goes through a process where it is made um, low carb. I am also going to be using my beloved Focus Sweet. This is probably my favorite sweetener, period, but it's just a little expensive. So um, I do cut it with Waylo, but this is what I use. And this is zero, zero all the way. I also have powdered mocha sweet. So this is gonna come in handy for cooking and baking and things like that. No sugar added ketchup, been eating this as well for years. I don't see a difference. So again, why have extra sugar if I don't need it? And I think that that's it. Oh, let me show you really quickly. So my boss water is what I drink and I have this in lemon cucumber and I also have one in raspberry rose if you guys can see that that's my son's cotton candy don't don't pay attention to that don't pay attention to that 
and then bubbly is my favorite sparkling water so that's pretty much all i drink i don't drink soda anymore just sparkling water